Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump shakes Putin's hand and everyone immediately noticed what he did with his other hand. President Donald Trump made history again for having another epic handshake. It wasn't that long ago that he sent shockwaves throughout the political realm as Trump shook hands with Kim Jong Un in a historic meeting hoping to help settle differences between North and South Korea and put a rest to the nuclear weapons nonsense that's been going on over there under Kim's leadership. Trump's latest history-making handshake was with Russia's leader Vladimir Putin. This handshake caused the news networks and independent reporting outlets to tremble again after it was noticed what Putin did with his other hand in the middle of the handshake. The two world leaders were sitting in their chair and leaned in for the historic handshake. President Trump is known to have some alpha male extra strong handshakes and Putin was ready for it. Putin, who's about 5'5 on a good day braced himself for the handshake because he didn't want to be overpowered for the 6'3 Trump. What did Putin do with his other hand? He held on to the chair while Trump grabbed him like a small kitten and pulled him in. Putin held on for dear life, grasping the chair so he didn't get pulled out of it and fall on the floor on television or video. Just think, if Putin hadn't held on, then he might have hit the floor. This is absolutely hilarious and it's proof that Trump and Russia aren't fooling around together. Anyone claiming that there is Russian collusion with President Trump or his team then they are blindly running into the Democrat agenda without looking where they're going or how silly they sound while making up false news. Donald Trump's practically patented the power handshake. But self-styled hardman Vladimir Putin is a tough match even for the U.S. president. Other world leaders have been wrong-footed by Trump's style, where he yanks his sparring partner's hand towards him. So it's no surprise the Russian president, whose regime is accused of a nerve agent murder on U.K. soil, came prepared today. Lo and behold! Putin appeared to be bracing himself firmly against his chair with his left hand as he shook hands with Trump at their summit in Helsinki. The veins even came up in the Russian president's gripping hand as he kept a solemn look and nodded once at Trump, firmly. In the end it seemed Putin had nothing to fear as Trump was in good spirits, even appearing to give Putin a wink. The U.S. president described the Russian World Cup as one of the best ever adding, in the U.S. we call it soccer, I watched quite a bit of it and I watched the entire final the semi-finals, and they were really spectacular games. But it was beautifully done, so congratulations. Those who had their arms wrestled away by the bellicose reality star have included Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Others fought back, with France's Emmanuel Macron enjoy an astonishing 29-second handshake with the president as they tried to out-macho each other last year. Trump also met his match last week in the Queen's 85-year-old lady-in-waiting Virginia Ogilvie who turned the tables by yanking the president's hand towards her. President Trump was also facing some minor backlash by people searching for a story when they claimed he purposely walked in front of the queen. That's also incorrect as he can be seen simply walking and not really sure which way she was going. It was like when two people walking toward each other both go left, then both go right and everyone laughs. It's completely innocent, accidental, and funny. Meanwhile, the liberals and hateful anti-Trumpers will just make up stories about every little thing that he does because that's all they are good at. The liberal media has started making up stories about things that don't exist, hoping to get one of their spun stories to pick up popularity and spread a message of nonsense. For example, HuffPost posted a tweet that literally made no sense and talked about a story that didn't even exist. They were creating it. They must have run out of things to write that day and simply made up a story about Trump in an elevator. Obviously the guy has been in an elevator before. What does he do in there? He goes up and down, just like everyone else. People are still losing their mind over Trump and we just keep laughing and making America great again. All those Democrats claiming Russian collusion are wrong and will always be wrong. Trump wants to be friends with Russia, but we don't need Russians to influence our votes. The Trump deranged Democrats are the Republicans' best asset. We know who to vote for and it's not some far-fetched anti-American on the left. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.